Hello everybody, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel. And for this week's video, I have the final bullet journal of 2023 for you here. It's for the month of December. And for this month, I decided to do like, uh, what's it called? Gingerbread cookies, like that kind of theme. So I did all of like the traditional gingerbread cookie themes. And then I just kind of drew them, I freehanded. Um, instead of using like straight line edge tools for straight lines, I wanted like that kind of raw look because, you know, cookies don't look exactly perfect and then also frosting doesn't look exactly perfect either. So I thought it added like a nice dimension to it anyways. But yeah, so I colored in the cookies with like this gingerbread color and then I outlined details in white on top of it afterwards to kind of act as like the frosting. And then I copied and pasted and rotated basically all of those images that i drew a bunch of times and then i filled up the entirety of the cover page um yeah so i just did that all around the word december this took quite some time actually uh not as much time as i thought it would have but it's okay i think it turned out pretty good and i really like it so it was definitely worth it now moving on to my quote page, I decided to do a gingerbread quote, obviously gotta keep with the theme. So this one says gingerbread kisses and Christmas wishes. And it took me a while to get the cursive how I like wanted it to look. But then once I did, it eventually looked good and then I was happy with it. And then I just copied and pasted a gingerbread man from the front page, just blew it up huge and then put it on that quote page. Then moving on for the mood tracker, I just copied and pasted like a chunk of the front cover page onto here and then erased all of the things so that, you know, you're able to color them how you like for whatever moods you're feeling. And I'm actually really proud of this. I copied 31 of these exactly um, that I was not expecting. I counted them and I was like, oh my gosh, like I actually did the perfect amount on accident. But yeah, so then I moved on to my habit tracker, which I just copied and pasted my template I always use. Same thing with my sleep tracker and then also with my highlight of the day. Except for my highlight of the day, um, I wanted it to be white and like that gingerbread color. So I just deleted every other highlight. So that way it's kind of, it looks like the gingerbread theme. And then I moved on to my weekly spread at the end. So then I just put the front page like, gingerbread madness onto the corner where there's an empty space and then i put one little tiny little gingerbread piece next to each day of the week that's what it's called because it adds character and then i just wrote the numbers of each day like next to that and that's pretty much it it was not too bad of a bullet journal once i had all of the designs drawn but it did take some time in the beginning. But I want to thank you for watching my final bullet journal of this year. And let's go ahead and go through the flip through.